Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will learn how to do multiplication of a two digit number by a one digit number. Students, let's understand this multiplication with the help of a real life example. If one school bus can carry 21 students, so how many students can three buses carry? So in such cases, we multiply. In this particular case, we will multiply 21 by 3. So let's do it. To multiply, first let's write the numbers in column as shown here. Now we will multiply it in two steps. In step 1, multiply 3 by 1 ones. So 3 into 1 ones equals to 3 ones. So we will write 3 at ones place in the answer. Next step 2 is multiply 3 by 2 tens. That means 3 into 2 tens equals to 6 tens. So let's write 6 at tens place in the answer. Now let's write the answer 21 into 3 equals to 63. Students, this is also an example of multiplication without regrouping. Later in this video, we will see how to do multiplication with regrouping. Now, let's do one more example. Suppose a box of chocolate contains 60 chocolates. So, how many chocolates will four such boxes contain? Again, in this question, we will multiply. We will multiply 60 by 4. So, let's do it. To multiply, first let's write the numbers in columns. Now, we will multiply it in two steps. In step 1, multiply 4 by 0 ones. So, 4 into 0 ones equals to 0 ones. So, we will write 0 at ones place in the answer. In step 2, Multiply 4 by 6 tens. 4 into 6 tens equals to 24 tens. So we will write 24 in the answer. Here 4 is at tens place and 2 is at hundreds place. Now let's write the answer. 60 into 4 equals to 240. Let's see the next example. If a packet of biscuit contains 34 biscuits, then how many biscuits will 5 such packets contain? So again, as you can see, this is a case of multiplication. Here, we will multiply 34 by 5. So to multiply these two numbers, Let's write them in columns. Now, in step 1, we will multiply 5 by 4 ones. It means 5 into 4 ones equals to 20 ones. Here, students, we need to regroup 20. What does 20 mean? 20 means 2 tens and 0 ones. So, we will carry. 2 to the tens place and 0 comes in the answer. Now, in step 2, multiply 5 by 3 tens. 5 into 3 tens equals to 15 tens. 
students we also have two as carry due to the grouping in step 1 so what can we do with this carry we will add it we will do 15 tens plus 2 carry equals to 17 tens so let's write 17 in the answer 7 comes at tens place and 1 comes at hundreds place So let's write the answer. Thirty-four into five equals to one hundred seventy. So, students, this is how we do multiplication of a two-digit number by a one-digit number with the grouping. Now, let's move and do the last example. If one book has ninety-nine pages, how many pages do such three books have? Students, can you tell me what to do in such situations? Yes, we need to multiply. So here we will multiply ninety-nine by three. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel. Then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Now students, let's solve this. We have to multiply 99 by 3. So again, to multiply, we first write these numbers in columns as shown here. Now, in step 1, We will multiply three by nine ones. Three into nine ones equals to twenty-seven ones. So again, we need to regroup twenty-seven. What does twenty-seven ones means? It means two tens and seven ones. So we will carry two to the tens place. And zero comes in the answer. Now in step two, multiply three by nine tens. Three into nine tens equals to twenty-seven tens. Students, we also have two as carry due to regrouping in step one. So what to do with this carry? We will add it. Twenty-seven tens plus two carry equals to twenty-nine tens. Let's write twenty-nine in the answer. So, students, our answer is ninety-nine into three equals to two hundred ninety. So, this is how we do. multiplication of two digit number by a one digit number without or with regrouping